How to use the Plan ID Crosswalk Tool Did you know that CMS provides review tools that issuers and states can use to prepare for the QHP application process? These review tools allow you to check for errors within your QHP application that would result in corrections after submission. Issuers are encouraged to use these tools to identify and correct data errors prior to submitting application data in order to reduce the number of required corrections identified during CMS's reviews. States are encouraged to use these tools during their reviews to identify potential errors in their issuer's application data that would require issuers to make corrections. The Plan ID Crosswalk tool helps ensure that the Plan ID Crosswalk template has been completed accurately according to the current plan year's guidelines provided by CMS. The tool ensures that all counties and all on-exchange plans that were offered in the previous plan year are included in the crosswalk, that the plans are crosswalked to valid plans in the current plan year or discontinued in compliance with applicable regulations, that the crosswalk reasons selected are consistent with plan offerings, and that the crosswalk is compliant with applicable regulations. The tool is not applicable to Small Business Health Options Program or SHOP or off-exchange plans. To use the Plan ID Crosswalk tool, you'll need a populated version of the Plans and Benefits template for the previous and current plan years, the Service Area template for the previous and current plan years, and the Plan ID Crosswalk template. There are two types of Plan ID Crosswalk templates you may need to submit. An Individual Market QHP Crosswalk template and an Individual Market Standalone Dental Plan or SADP Crosswalk template. Ensure that you have separate templates for each type of applicable plan offered. To download the Plan ID Crosswalk tool, visit the Review Tools webpage of the QHP Certification website and click on the Automated Review Tools link. A zip file will be downloaded to your computer. Within this zip file, you'll see several of the standalone review tools, including the Plan ID Crosswalk tool. Open the tool in Excel and enable macros. Read the Instructions tab carefully before beginning. In step four, import the previous plan year and current plan year plans and benefits templates separately. Click on the Import Plans and Benefits Template Data buttons, navigate to and select the appropriate plan year folder, and click the Select Folder button. Make sure you import both the previous and current plan year plans and benefits template data before moving on. After you import all plans and benefits data, navigate to the Previous Plan Year Plans and Benefits Data tab and complete column L for every plan listed to indicate if the plan was suppressed prior to receiving enrollment during the previous plan year. Then go to the Current Plan Year Plans and Benefits Data tab and repeat this step. Issuers are expected to submit a crosswalk for every plan that was certified in the previous plan year. Issuers do not need to submit a crosswalk for plans that were suppressed in the previous plan year prior to receiving enrollment. Once column L is completed in both tabs containing plans and benefits data, return to the Instructions tab and proceed to step 6 to import both the previous and current plan year service area template data into the tool, using the same method you used for importing plans and benefits template data. During the import process, you may receive an error message if there are validation errors within your template data. The errors will generate an error tab, identifying the cell where the error is located and giving a description of the error. If you do receive an error message, please navigate to the corresponding data tab to determine the correction needed. Make sure your correction is in the appropriate template, save and validate it, re-import it into the Plan ID Crosswalk tool, and continue the import process. Note that you only need to re-upload the updated template into the tool. After you've imported all template data, proceed to step 7 and click the button to import your previous to current plan year plan ID crosswalk template data. Once all template data is imported, click the Run Tool button at the bottom of the Instructions tab. Running the tool could take several minutes depending on how much data is processing. Once the tool is finished running, navigate to the Output tab where the review results are displayed. Column K, labeled Correction, will show any corrections that need to be made. Review the Output tab and use the individual tabs that contain template data to determine the specific data corrections needed. Once you've determined the corrections you need to make, open the appropriate templates, correct, save, and validate them, and re-import them into your Plan ID Crosswalk tool. Repeat the review process until all plans pass the review indicated by a message on the Output tab that states there are no corrections identified in your data. Now let's review some common corrections and how issuers can correct them. 
One of the most commonly seen corrections in the Plain Crosswalk tool is correction code 60. This code will display in the Output tab with the following language in column K. Plan ID X from last year has been crosswalked to Plan ID Y for this year with a reason for crosswalk equal to discontinuing product, enrollment into a different product. However, there is at least one plan in Product X that exists this year as indicated in the issuer's current plan year plans and benefits and service area templates. This code appears when the same product ID exists in the same service area for both plan years, but the issuer is attempting to crosswalk to a plan with a different product ID. Plans must be crosswalked to the same product between plan years when it is available. To correct this error, open the plan ID crosswalk template and change the current year's crosswalk plan to a plan with the same product as the previous year's plan, and update the reason for crosswalk to accurately reflect the crosswalk. Save and validate the template. Then re-import the plan ID crosswalk template into the plan ID crosswalk tool and rerun the tool. Another commonly seen correction is code 61, which is related to code 60. Code 61 will display in the output tab with the following language in column K. Plan ID X from last year has been crosswalked to plan ID Y for this year with a reason for crosswalk equal to discontinuing product, enrollment into a different product. However, the product IDs are the same. This code appears when the product IDs are the same for both the previous year and current year's plans. This mistake typically occurs due to the issuer selecting the incorrect option in the Reason for Crosswalk drop-down menu. There are several ways to correct this error, including changing the Reason for Crosswalk or crosswalking to a more appropriate plan. After determining which correction is needed for your situation, open the Plan ID Crosswalk template, then make the necessary correction in the template, and save it. Then re-import the Plan ID Crosswalk template into the Plan ID Crosswalk tool, and rerun the tool. Another commonly seen correction is Code 13. This code will display in the Output tab with the following language in column K. Plan ID X from last year has been crosswalked to Plan ID Y for this year in the following county or counties. However, these counties are not covered by the service area of Plan ID Y for this year, with a list of counties provided. This code appears when the current year's crosswalk plan doesn't cover one or more of the counties that were covered by the previous year's plan. The first potential source of the error is the current year's plan is supposed to cover the listed counties, but the counties were accidentally omitted from the service area template. If this is the case, open the current year's service area template and add the counties that were listed in the correction to the current year's plan service area and save the template. The second potential source of the error is that a different plan for the current year was intended to be used as the crosswalk plan for the counties listed in the correction. If this is the case, open the Plan ID Crosswalk template and change the current year's crosswalk plan to a plan that covers the counties listed and save the template. Then re-import the Plan ID Crosswalk template into the Plan ID Crosswalk tool and rerun the tool. If you have questions regarding the QHP application review tools, please contact the Marketplace Service Desk at cms underscore feps at cms.hhs.gov or 855-CMS-1515. For more information about the QHP certification process, visit www.qhpcertification.cms.gov.